Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Sbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. Let us try to answer some ASCII in gynecology. Okay. The first station here. Plot to this picture and identify A, B, and C. Okay. As you see in this picture, A is site brush. Site brush used for taking cervical smear as a screening program for cervical carcinoma. B IRS spatula also used for cervical smear for screening for cervical carcinoma. So A is the site brush, B IRS spatula. C is the procedure of cervical smear in screening program. We use site brush, IRS spatula to do cervical smearing. Okay. The procedure is done post menstrual. The patient should, shouldn't be menstruating. Shouldn't take any antibiotic or antifungal, local or systemic in the previous three days. No vaginal douches three days ago. No intercourse. So not to affect the result of cervical smear. Okay. We use either side brush or IRS spatula. After inserting a clean speculum without antiseptic or any other solution, so not to affect the, the smear or gel. After insertion of gas speculum, or Graves speculum, self-retaining speculum, exposure of the external os is good, then insert the IRS spatula, tell the external os, then rotate 360 degree, then another 360 degree, then remove it without touching anything. Then spread the cell on a slide and spray it with the fixator. Then send to the lab for BAP test, the panicular test or BAP smear test. Okay. Why you are doing this? To diagnose the pre-invasive lesion like CIN1, 2, or 3. CIN1 is the low risk, CIN2 and 3 higher risk. CIN means CIA cervical intraepithelial nucleus. Okay. When to start this screening program? In some countries, it started at the age of 21. Then, repeated every three years till the age of 29 then from the age of 30 up to the age of 65 we either do BAP test every three years or the human papilloma virus test every five years or the human papilloma virus test and the BAP test, we call it Q-test, done with each other, human papilloma virus and BAP smear, Q-test, every five years, till the age of what, till the age of 65, then we stop doing screening program, so the screening program starts at the age of 21, and end at the age of 65 year old okay and 
This screening program is important, as I said, to diagnose the pre-invasive lesion CIN1, 2, 3, and manage it properly, so not to be converted to invasive cancer. Also diagnose the early cases of invasive cancer, so it can be managed early. Okay, so this is one of the most important screening program done in every part all over the world. Okay. Let us go to the next. Identify A and B. Plot to this picture and identify A and B. A cotton tip the swab. B cervical swab for infection. For vaginal discharge or infection related to sexual transmitted diseases, for example, like gonorrhea, we can do high vaginal swab or swab from the surface, from external os. How to do it? Also, avoid use of antiseptic or antibiotic. Use clean self-retaining vaginal speculum insert it until exposure of the external os remove the cotton tip the swab from the sterile bottle like this one insert it inside the vagina till reaching the external os then rotate 360 degree and another 360 degree then remove it without touching anything and insert it inside the clean tube and close it and send it for the for lab for evaluation of this organism and for culture and sensitivity test so this is sw high uh, cervical swab or high vaginal swab for infection in case of vaginitis cervicitis especially in cases suspected to have sexually transmitted disease or other infection. Okay? This is as regard this station. I hope it is clear enough. What is the complication of sexually transmitted disease like gonorrhea, chlamydia, and so on? Complication on one of the most important complications is salpingitis. Salpingitis can cause pupil plot and can be caused for infertility. Can damage the following groups, especially if it is bilateral. It can cause burn destruction of the post following tubes if not managed properly and early. So when we diagnose any sexual transmitted disease should be managed early and adequately with the proper antibiotic. Okay. Complication may include infertility as I said, so it is important, especially in young lady to manage any sexual transmitted disease properly to avoid affection or hair fertility in the future. Okay? okay. What is next? Please look to this picture and identify A, B, C, and D. Lock to picture A. This is bicornet uterus. Bicornet uniculus uterus. Bicornet uterus. Two cornea here. This is one of the anomalies of the uterus. Due to the fact in the development of Mullerian ducts. What about B? B is uterine didelvis. Each Mullerian duct 
developed separately. So you will find two uterus, two cervix, two vagina. This is called uterus didalvis. Grind didalvis. Another anomaly for development of malarian ducts. Okay, C. What about C? C here septate uterus. As you see, the cavity of the uterus is divided into two compartments with septum in the middle. Okay? So, this is called septate uterus. This also occurs due to abnormality in the development of malarian ducts. Malarian ducts we have two malarian ducts when they fuse with each other the, the separation at the middle must be resolved or removed or disappear if the resistance leads to septate uterus okay d is a unicorn uterus as you see there is one corn unicorn uterus and the rudimentary hole on the other side. So this is unicorn uterus. Again, A, bicornic uterus. B, uterine divalvus. C, septate uterus. D, unicorn uterus. What are the complications of uterine anomalies? Maybe fertility, maybe miscarriage, return labor, have menstruation, abnormally trying bleeding. All these are complications that may happen with the uh, trying anomalies. Okay? This is the end of our OSCE station today. I hope it is clear enough. You can find more OSCE through my site on YouTube. I'll put it in a comment. This link related to my YouTube channel. The other link here in red related to Amazon where you can find my box. Textbook of obstetric, textbook gynecology, contraception handbook, multiple choice question book, medical disorder in pregnancy, and the gynecologic oncology report. I'll put another comment wishing you all the best everybody thank you